fam, it's your girl Leah back again with another video. In today's video, as you can see from the title, we're going to be talking about the benefits of traveling, vacationing, swimming with crochet hair and why I feel like it's a great alternative to your braided options. Now, every year you guys know I make a top five to eight swim friendly crochet hair and I will link that video up above. But this year I've got a little bit of attraction on my TikTok and some people are like, why? But like, why? I, I've gotten a lot of pushback from people who have been like, no, it's going to be mildewy. It won't hold up. It'll get tangled. And some of you guys have been defending me in those comments. Like, no, listen to her. She's actually tried. Like, you're seeing one TikTok. This girl knows. And I appreciate you guys taking up for me. But today I'm going to walk you through the benefits of why I feel like it's a great alternative. Now, first thing I want to say is I'm saying it's an alternative. I'm always going to believe that braided styles are going to get you through. They're going to be your tried and true your knotless your box I don't know about knotless some people are saying the length of time those parts don't be part in the way they do so your box braids your locks your twists whatever the case may be that is going to be the standard that's going to be the option that most people travel with the video I stitched on my TikTok was a video of like four women getting ready to go on vacation and it was like how do you know we going on vacation and they all four had the same exact hairstyle and my rebuttal to that is maybe one wants to be different like your three friends got their box braids but like if you want to be a little bit different in the photo so we not all twinsy you can do this as an alternative but not saying as a replacement if your heart's desire is those braided styles go with those braided styles but I'm trying to give you like a, a switcheroo like you want to look different a bit and number two the other thing I want to make clear in this video is that I'm not saying that crochet hair is an alternative for a swim cap somebody commented I don't remember the video but they were like oh so instead of wearing a cap I'm gonna wear crochet hair because I like to swim five days out of the week no still wear your like swim cap like it's not a replacement for a swim cap. It's like an alternative for like, you know, vacations. You want to look good. You don't want to say, okay, we're going in the pool. Let me put my swim cap on. But if you're like swimming for like funsy, like I took swim lessons last year. I didn't not wear a swim cap because I had crochet hair in. I didn't care how it looked. I'm with, you know, five other people, you know, 25 plus who are taking adult swim class lessons. It's not trying to be cute, but I know a lot of the times when you go to the vacations and the beach, you want your photos. You want the photos to hit a certain way and it's not fun to pull out your little, you know, swim turban, your swim cap and all of that. So if you are swimming, you know, exercise as a day-to-day -day activity, I'm still saying use whatever you use as your method of covering your hair. I'm saying if you're doing this a trip, a vacation, a quick little stint, sometimes you don't want to be on that beach or be on that vacation with a swim cap. But again, if I take swim lessons this summer, which we're getting a little into the summer and I, a lot of the classes are getting swapped up, I'm still going to be wearing my swim cap. I'll have crochet hair up under that, but I'm not saying don't wear swim caps at all. That's again not what this video is about. Now before we get started this is not crochet hair in my head. It is a wig. I have a review of this wig. I believe that should be already up as well as this link down below. It is from Amazon. It is a V part wig. But one of the benefits of crochet hair is that protection against chlorine and salt water. It really acts as that barrier between when you dip your head in some water you get wet in either you know ocean oceanic water or just regular pool water this crochet here is really acting as that barrier this this is not crochet here but for the purpose of this video I'm probably going to touch this a few times but crochet here is acting really as that barrier between that chlorine and that salt water yes you're sometimes like well it can get in like your braids are still fully exposed but not as exposed as they would be if you were just to go in that pool with your full hair out your full hair out is going to get that full breath of that salt that sea that chlorine all that gunky stuff with crochet hair is really acting as that barrier and it can navigate some of that off can navigate seaweed off of your head it can really kind of absorb most of that moisture and the important thing as I always say is to go back to the room after it's not to let it dry and then do nothing you still want to wash your hair out and get some of those remnants of you know chlorine or salt water out but it's a lot easier it's in my opinion than if your whole head was exposed like when I was at Puerto Rico my last trip that I took and one of my pictures or in one of 
of my vlogs, there was a girl in front of me who had like a blowout um, on her trip. And I was like, girl, you bold. You was real bold. Like, I'm walking behind her the whole time. Hair is hair. If it was my hair, she must have been relaxed. Because if it was my hair, I know my hair would have been poofed beyond. It was hot. It was, it was pretty hot in Puerto Rico. Her hair was all out. I'm thinking she ain't touching the water. She can't be touching the water. This, this girl ain't going near no water because as soon as, as soon as you dip your head in water, you're going to have to wash everything out of your entire head, go back to the room, blow dry, straighten, do whatever you're going to do to your hair to be able to live your life after, whereas that acts as, again, a barrier. All you have to do is kind of really concentrate on the washing of your hair, and I have plenty of videos showing how I wash my crochet hair. All you have to do, kind of concentrate in that area, and then you should be good to go. The number two benefit is quick drying. That's something I always, always say. As opposed to other protective styles, crochet hair is very, very, very quick drying. Meaning you can hop in and hop out of a pool and not be sitting around with damp hair. Damp, wet hair just weighing you down, being on top of you can be discomforting. It can cause you some discomfort. You want to be able to have that hair quickly dry so that you can maneuver through and just not sit uncomfortably for a while. If I were to dump my head in some water right now, this hair is not drying quickly. I colored this hair the other day. I deep conditioned it. I washed it out. And then I was not going to stand with a blow dryer. So I put my little fan, I'm looking at it because it's right beside me, on the floor. I put my hair on a towel on the floor and I let that fan kind of blow directly on it. And even still, 24, 16 hours later, still slightly damp. You know, this cannot dry without the, an aid of a drying mechanism, without the aid of a blow dryer. Something's going to have to help it to speed up that process. However, crochet hair, I say... I mean, eight minutes max. That's that's really pushing it. If it's a very hot, warm day, that crochet hair is going to dry super fast. And again, you're not going to be sitting around. And it's going to be advantageous of you if you're going to be somebody who's going to be in and out of a pool situation. If you're going to be in and out of a wet situation, you don't want to be in and out of having wet hair. The style consistency. So even though you get into the water and you get out, the hairstyle is going to look exactly the same. You're going to look the same as you enter the water and as you exit the water. The look will never change. If your hair is like this before, it's going to be like this after. Whereas opposed to if you jump in some kind of situation, a lot of people said, or not a lot of people, but some people said wigs was their go-to thing for vacations at beaches. Somebody went a whole different route. They said their alternative was wig situation. Cool, cool. If it's human hair, though, one, is it the wig? Does this hair stay? Like, if you dunk your head in a full pool with a wig, is that wig not shifty a bit? Like, I don't I don't know the whole thing with, like, glueless and I'm not all in the closure situations. But my thought is you jump in, it's going to shift. It's going to rotate a bit. But if it doesn't, one thing it will do if it's human, it's going to change. If I dump my head in water, this hair is going to look completely different. It might dry after time into this state right now. But if you go in... With your hair being curly or straight, whatever the case may be, that hair is going to revert. As soon as you dunk your head in water, it's going to shift. I put a little bit of water on this spray, spray, spray. It's going to shift a bit, whereas with crochet hair, it's going to maintain the same curl because it's synthetic. You can't change it even if you want it to. You are stuck looking a certain way, which in some cases, somebody is like, I don't want to look the same exact way for six weeks. But if you're on a six-day vacation, there's nothing wrong with looking the same exact way. You have that not care or not that worry that you're going to switch it up. You're going to look different from day to day. And that really leads me to number four, the longevity of wear. That longevity goes hand in hand really with that style consistency. It's able to last long. Again, I hear that not less, it'd be looking different after, you know, a few weeks, maybe four. I think you can wear like hair like Free Trust Beach Curl for six weeks and look exactly the same really from week one to week six. So the longevity, especially over repeated weddings is gold. Number five, the time efficiency of it. I've always talked about how with crochet hair, it's a lot less time sitting in a chair as opposed to some other styles, but also the preparation of your hair pre and post swimming activities. Pre, there's really nothing you have to prepare it for. Post, all you have to do is really rinse it out, which is something you would do probably with any style if you were to get it wet. Any style that you were to get it wet, box braids, 
any style really you would need to do something after but the time you spend in the chair the time you spend preparing and the time you spend detangling and everything else post is a lot less than you would with most styles especially human hairstyles everything i'm saying in this video when i talk about the benefits of swimming with crochet is centered around synthetic hair because i do think that is the better option when you get into human hair options i think it gets into negating the time efficiency because i think if you were to get a human hair crochet wet you go spend a lot of time detangling a lot of time blow drying you've seen in one of my videos where i tried the just like human hair crochet hair i still was spending a lot of time dilly dallying with that hair post swimming so everything i'm saying is in the lens of synthetic hair the confidence boost and i don't rarely talk about this but like i said it is a boost to actually look good in some of your photos like you go to the beach for the relaxation the laying out and all of that but i'm somebody as you've probably seen from my instagram over the years i like to get a little photo in too but i still got it well i still think i got it and you know i can maybe wear a two piece sometimes i feel more comfortable in a one piece more than likely now it's a one piece type of a situation but the confidence you have with a hairstyle that you feel like you look good in. like sometimes i'll be feeling good and it gives me a confidence booster that i know that i can go outside with a hair that looks good and not worry about okay is my hair right is my hair right is the hair picking up the way it needs to be put down like i always can travel if i choose the right hair with confidence in the hair like my puerto rico trip i made the best decision in the world by going with free trash beach curl because i knew every picture was gonna be fire even after snorkeling i had no concerns that man i just spent you know 90 minutes in this pool all the rest of my vacation photos are ruined no 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 they weren't i just spent all this time going back and forth back and forth in this pool the rest of my trip my hair is gonna be looking saggy no my confidence was up because I really chose a hair that was stylish and allowed me to fully immerse myself in the vacation without feeling like my hair was going to be ruined at some point throughout it. Number seven, humidity proof. That's something that a girl who is natural really struggles with. Humidity in the South, if you're in the South, you, you know, um, hair can balloon you can go out looking one way and the humidity will have you looking that the wrong way at the end of the day the moisture in the air this week as i'm filming this it's been very rainy here that type of situation won't stand if i had my natural hair out it's really not standing with with this hair um but i'm, I'm making it through i'm making it through crochet hair it doesn't know it's humid it doesn't know what humidity is it's like we're just staying consistent we're going to stay this way. It does not react to the elements the way that your natural hair does, that human hair does. It does not care about humidity because it's a fiber. It's made to withstand that. Does your clothes react to humidity? Like is your clothing, if you have jean pants on, if you have this shirt on, does this shirt know it's humid outside and that it needs to react? That's the same thing with the fibers that are used to create crochet hair. It doesn't, it doesn't know what humidity is, so it's fine. It's totally fine. Number eight, the easy transition really from the swimming to the next event. So say you don't want to just run back to your room and have to wash your hair. Say you did just go swimming and your friends want to go grab a bite to eat for lunch. You're not sitting there with damp, wet hair that you're sitting at the restaurant and it's soaking into the chair your hair is already dried and you've been able to transition from one thing to the next i talk about the reason i really started my channel the first hair i ever tried that was i think i made my first video prior to going to the bahamas on that cruise that was my first ever cruise that was my the first ever time trying crochet hair and I filmed a video before I left I think I posted it before I left too not knowing that I was going to have a crochet hair review channel but on that first trip you get off of a ship if you're on a cruise ship you know you get off and you're off of it hopefully until you come back on before the ship departs so whether the ship docks at 10 and it leaves at 4 you don't want to have to run back and forth you want to be able to do everything you want to do from 10 to 4 and you know if you want to get your hair wet at some point which we did we rolled that giant slide i wish i was a content creator back then because it would have been so cool i saw so many people with gopros that rolled that atlantis slide and i didn't know what a gopro was i wasn't a real creator it was so cool but then we wanted to eat because they gave you uh meal vouchers too at atlantis if you do the half day at atlantis um at carnival or pretty any cruise that docks in Nassau has that you get a, a little thing around your wrist and sometimes they give you a, a food voucher so you can get something out Atlantis um we had lunch there 
I'm not sitting there at lunch uncomfortably or saying, okay, we got to do everything and eat everything first and then do water or do water first and then eat it. Like there was no, we could do water activities, eat water activities. Like it could go seamlessly from event to event and it works really well. Even still, I think I got back on the ship and I think we did have a little break. So I was able to rinse everything out and then be able to join everybody for dinner because it quick dried after I washed my hair. So we did Atlantis. We ate lunch in Atlantis. We got back to the ship, rinsed my hair out. Didn't have to spend a lot of time, probably spent as much time in the shower as I normally would. Get out the shower, blow dried my real hair because there are blow dryers on the ship or they should be most ships. And I did that. The crochet hair was already dry by the time I was done with my own hair, then dry, and then I could easily transition to dinner. So it's not a time consuming effort. Again, that goes back to time efficiency, but it goes back to the transition from event to event that you can do with crochet hair. And the last thing is the travel convenience of it all. You don't have to take a lot of tools with you. You're not taking a blow dryer, a hair dryer, well, most rooms nowadays have a blow dryer, but you're not taking a hot tool with you, a curling iron or flat iron. You're not taking full bottles of like, you know, the do's moose def or crazy sexy curl because you got to do your wash and go over again. You don't have to have a full bottle of water to spray, spray, spray. You don't need a bunch of combs, like tools like, you know, I need a comb for this. I need a brush for that. You really don't need much at all. You need your scarf. I mean, I might put a little bit of Hawaiian silky in a travel container because you guys know I've showed you, I have not packed a bag in like 10 years. I think we are right on my 10 year anniversary the last time I checked a bag. I have only flown with carry-on so I need to pack efficiently and I ain't got time for a whole destination of this and then I gotta bring my full size edge control. I gotta bring the shampoo conditioner. I have to bring all of this and that. I still suggest when you get back home to just do a deeper wash than you probably did on vacation because it was probably quick. You probably didn't have all your good products. All this and all that. So that is my rationale. That is why I'm pro crochet hair for your vacations. I am, again, just giving an alternative. Go with what makes you feel comfortable. If crochet hair is not your comfortable style, that's totally fine. I think goddess braids are the newest thing right now. Goddess braids are the thing I'm seeing all over the street. They're beautiful. They are beautiful. They look great. But I'm just saying, like, if you want something different. Like, if you want something different. That's all I'm saying. But if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Give it a big thumbs up even if you didn't. We want all the love and support over here on this channel. As well as we want you to subscribe so you don't miss anything that we do over here. We want you to have that notification bell on so you don't miss anything we do. Make sure you're following me on Instagram at lelavon89 so you can keep up with my shenanigans in real time. TikTok at lelavon, which is a bit more real time and a bit more, I'd say, engaging. I love the healthy discord that goes on over there. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.